What's up, guys? I'm Shane, and welcome back to our North Texas College Football 25 Dynasty. This is becoming a mouthful. i got to find a way to shorten that a little bit. We're, uh, after a bye week, we have now signed the three-star quarterback, Mateo DeMarco. He's going to sit on the bench. We also signed Alfonso Azur, who I was worried about not getting because TCU was starting to come on, I think. And then I thought we had a good shot at Merrill, and then uh, he just signed with Ole Miss, so... That sucks. Irving we're pulling away with, so that's good. Fredrickson. We got a little bit of leeway over Mississippi State. People are trying. Forrest, we're, we're clearing through. This is what I'm worried about. Brian Bolt, Georgia found him. And so did Penn State and Florida State, but Georgia found him. We're not getting him. That's a pipe dream. I'm going to keep fighting, but we're losing him. This guy's a deep threat with a 69 deep route running. He's fast, though. I guess we'll start going after him. And honestly, if I'm going to start running the ball more, let's go after this tight end. We're not going to get anyone really better anyways. We got points. Might as well go for that. This guy's a gem. We're going to go ahead and we're going to send the house after this guy. Again, we're running out of time, so honestly, I can give him up to the 65 hours. That's what I'm going to do. Did we figure out this guy's pitch yet? Could be aspirational. Okay, it's aspirational. Not great for us. I need 10 hours, so... Take that right back from you, Boozer, real quick. I mean, okay, so we're not getting everyone we wanted, but we could still possibly get Fredericks in here. We got a good chance at uh, Irving here. Forrest seems like he's in the bag. Reinbold, yeah, that's probably not happening. We can maybe take a shot at him. Cherry, if we can get him in here, we can start really, like, run committing. Have him as a good blocker. And Boozer is a gem, so maybe we, it's not too late for him, for sure. Flanagan, I'm not worried about. I really don't don't care that much. We got a, we got a halfback already. But that jumps us up to the number 33 class. So, I mean, that's still, like, four-star right tackle, four-star quarterback, four-star tight end. A right guard, left tackle, D-tackle, halfback, another right guard, and another quarterback, all at three stars. So DeMarco, so now we got someone who can just ride the pine. We got a new halfback to play with. All right, so we'll drop this down to All-American, like I said. We'll put revamp passing back on, and we'll practice with this. And what I'll do, because I'm still trying to, like, just record as much as possible, but if I have time, I will probably, like run through a game or two and like freshman not on here but in a completely different thing and i'll try and practice they are a 74 overall school but i'm not sure i can stop the triple option so this could be terrifying all right good first rush picking up eight second and short means i can mess around with something here if they give me something Nope. I made a bad read. Oh my god. We still can't tackle. <laughs> well then. There we go. They just look like crap whenever they come out, but... Alright, that works. Great running lane right there. This one, the cow tie right here, if we can hit him. This seems like what I need the revamp passing for. No, I think I should have... I need to let go a little bit sooner. Alright, right idea. There we go, we still pick up the first down. Yep, and that's where the delay has to come in. Because if I would thrown that, like, without the little bit of a wind-up, without a delay, that would have been a first down. There we go. So it earlier. And in for the rushing touchdown. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Can Shane figure out the triple option? They threw it. So no, I can't because they threw it. And I didn't see that coming. Yeah, now that they actually ran the ball, we figured it out. All 
right? Yeah, mess them up. Okay, no, like, come on, Tashada. Like, you can't just stand behind them and think you got good coverage. How did you not get that pick? Tashada's falling apart, man. He's falling apart towards the end here. He's not going to be missed at this rate. Ow! All right, good wrap-up. There we go. I'll take third and six. I think the problem is our D-line is terrible. Like, besides Brown, I'm surprised we got to stop there. Oh, that one I should have done the thing. Okay. Yep, that's the cheese against us. Just run up the middle because our... Our second D-tackle is terrible. Our D-linemen are terrible. And I know we're supposed to be a 3-4 team, but guess what? The linebackers are all bad, so... Someone was going to be bad. Like, the backup middle linebacker is terrible. The backup D-tackle is bad. So, like, one of them was going to be terrible. And I don't like the 3-4 defense, so... That's just my preference. <laughs> he got bounced up and in for the touchdown. Because he landed on top of Brown. That's the wrong button again. I wanted the dump off. The dump off is not circle. Never has been, never will be. And right at the middle. Alrighty. I'm not worried about like ruining Morris' stats anymore, because first off, they're never gonna get good. They're never gonna be good. Second off, he graduates, and it won't matter. And we'll never think about him again. Well, that was... Oh, he got it. Okay. I think I maybe should have bullet passed that one instead. But I don't care. Ward with a nice catch. Cow tie on that little dump off. Keep forgetting I got more than one option on the RPO. End of the first quarter. We're down 24-7 to because I'm still struggling with a basic new mechanic. Big run. Some great blocks out there, too. And there it is. There's a revamp passing coming in clutch. Oh. I didn't... I guess we didn't see the rollout coming. Alright, again, like, you can hand up the middle if you're going to run it right into brown. This is going to help us out. He, he had someone, but he just he messed up the throw. There we go. All right. Good snag. Good snag. I'm going to sit down and probably watch tutorial. I'm just like... I feel like there's part of this I'm missing. Coach keeps calling mesh. I'm not going to say no. Because that's why. Nine yards. Nice blitz. Ward breaks off a tackle. Gets in position. And Ragsdale in for the touchdown. And we're going to make it a three-point game. All right, third and five. They got pretty close on that one, though. Good zone coverage by you guys. Come on. Come on, I should have just played in man. Why don't I just play man coverage? I'm worried about the run, so I play in zone. And then they pass it, and they don't know how to play zone. And everyone tackled the running back. No one had the quarterback, and he's probably... No, we got him down at least. <laughs> Great coverage on that one. And of course it's Brown getting the sack. Second and 17. Good place. Good place to be. Try to get cute. No gain. Screen pass. I got a round. Come on, get the tackle. Perfect. They're, oh, they're going for it? 
It's two minute warning anyways. Now they're kicking the field goal. What are they trying to get us to go off sides or something? It was fourth and 13. And he misses the kick. Perfect ball placement on that one. Pushed out of bounds, but damn, that's a big gain on the corner strike. How did he snag that out of your hands, Ward? How did he snag that out of your hands? Supposed to be my wide receiver one. And you let a linebacker from Army take the ball from you. Nope, that was pitiful. Okay, man coverage was bad too. And he throws it away. Alright, well the interception doesn't cost us anything outside of field position. I'm still mad at Ward for that. Look at how much easier a slant pass is when you catch it. Yes, I know he's running into someone, but like he shouldn't have given up the pick. Oh, I put that right in position where he could have gotten to it too. I didn't think of that. Damn. I didn't want to punt. Okay, our punter is just trash. I thought it was a sim making the punts trash. No, our punter is just terrible. There's a flag down, though. I'm assuming something against us. No, roughing the kicker. Yes, sir. Take that across midfield and out of bounds. Perfect. Damn, that was a good play by that safety. I thought we had that for sure. Take a cow tie, rip it up the seam here. Yes, I can. And he broke off the tackle on number nine. In for the touchdown. And before the half is over, thanks to a rough in the kicker, we're going to take the lead. He went for the flea flicker, right? The blitz coming. He goes down. I think it's funny, they added a little animation. So we take him down for the sack, and then he tried to help him get up afterwards, and they almost had a fist fight. Going in the halftime, we've come back. We're up 28-24 on Army. <laughs> he ran right into the blitzer. Wow. That was a panic right there. That's something I did in the beginning of the season. Alright, so I think the passing mechanic... It was definitely me overthinking it. It's not really changing much with the passing. It's just giving you, like, more flexibility. And I think I've just, like, overthought it. There's still, like, a slight delay in the pass going out. But it's not the biggest deal in the world. But either way, I'm still gonna, like, learn to master it, I think is my big thing now. It's not a matter of, like, learning to adjust to it. Because it really, if you just ignore it, it doesn't change the game at all. But if you can master it, I gotta feel like there's passes that I think I can make that I will actually be able to make. And all of college football is in trouble if that's actually a, a thing. Like, this is built for Conright's route right here. If he can beat him, beat him to the outside, put some air under it. No, well, go to quick slants here. I think we can do it. Well, we can do that. And he fall. Luckily, he falls forward. Gets a better animation to get the first down. I saw that blitz coming. I didn't want to run into it. But something like this. Now, imagine Cow Tie being replaced by the actual vertical threat tight end, the four star we already signed. And then our other tight end being replaced by, like, someone who looks like he's going to be a, just a shade below an actual offensive lineman. And running into that. With a revamped offensive line. I think that's... We'll be able to get, like, a power run going. We're not going to have a fullback on the roster still. But they're overrated. Also, they keep leaving this dump-off route open. Fourth and inches. Uh, yeah, coach wants to go for it. So do I. That was a mistake. Those linebackers blew that the hell up. I should have known. It's like, you know what maybe we shouldn't do is run the ball on Army. 
in short yardage situations. That might not be a good idea. And they injured their halfback. Alright, third and eight here. That's a new formation they haven't run today. <laughs> he almost got taken down for his safety. Defense is playing much better than that on, you know, I'm not setting him up on short fields constantly. There we go. The ground game's gonna be going. I just gotta keep it out of fourth down. Again, just those drag routes to, to sides. And I think he's still going to be our number two receiver next year. Because I think... I know he'll be number one. That's right. We might, we're probably losing that, that wide receiver. Never mind. Forget what I just said. He still slots in better. And my controller died. At least it died at the end of the play. Oh, uh, I overthrew it just a little bit. I threw that, I mean, I could have had the drag route all day, obviously, but I figure that was worth a shot. Haven't tried this in a little bit. They left it wide open. <laughs> oh my god, that juke was disgusting. I didn't know you had it in you, Morris. Oh, I missed the tackle. And that's apparently all he needed to get upfield. Eventually, finally, he goes down. That was a very forgiving animation, because I definitely whiffed that tackle on NCA 14. <laughs> Man, they are struggling on third down now. <laughs> Got popped. Okay. I think they're expecting us to run the ball a lot. Follow that lead. Okay, well, <laughs> like, let me follow Karn right. What a lead block, and he ran right past the damn safety. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Me and that linebacker both noticed that Ragsdale was uncovered at the same time, and he won. Oh god, that pressure got there. We didn't stand a chance. And the third quarter, we're up 35-24 on Army. But we're we're gonna give him the ball right now. They try to go for the draw play, and Brown's like, no thank you. Brown again was like, no thank you. And oh not Brown. I thought it'd be funny if Brown blew them all up. He might get credit for a half sack on that one, but. Sure, we're, oh, they're already going for it. You, you sure? You sure you want to do this? Still six and a half minutes left. It's only two scores. And and Wazlowski, beautiful. All right, we'll we'll try keeping it on the ground as much as possible. I think. Good job following the blockers. Ragsdale, 152 yards on the ground today. He'd probably still be doing on Heisman difficulty, like with me running the ball, but I just was more focused on learning the passing mechanic and not actually letting my runner run. Oh my god. I thought he was going down, and, I, and like he was just still going. Guess we'll start chewing clock. I'd like to get a touchdown here, because that'll put the game completely out of reach. But even a field goal still makes it an even two-touchdown game. Yeah, there we go. Brown in for a touchdown. No, not Brown. Is this like everyone's name Brown on this team, I feel like? Evans, not Brown. I keep thinking his last name is Brown. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. I was running downfield thinking they were going for something deep. I don't know why I thought that's what they were going to do. I'm not sweating it. We're up by 18. Most of your points came from me anyway. What was it, 21 nothing at the half? Or not the half, at the end of the first quarter? I've been smoking them ever since.
But again, that revamp passing, it's not a major change. Like, just if you want to, just ignore it. Good pass breakup, because I definitely blew that zone coverage. <laughs> that was definitely... I blew it. I swear to God, if they run it out of this, I'm going to be so mad. No, okay. They're just going for the seams. I think that's all they know how to do. In second and two, they're like, we can do the run thing again. Alright, well somehow my linebacker ended up as the furthest downfield defender. Kind of realistically thought they were running it there. Good job, Shada. That's better. That's what I like to see. Okay, cool. Back of the end zone, but he was out of bounds. And, okay. I'm just going to keep running it up the gut, probably. Increased injury chance, but... We got it on Chew Clock. So hopefully that'll keep him going. I've seen him look worse on that wear and tear. There we go. The defense ran into each other. I would assume if I went to go for a knee, they would take their timeouts. So I'm going to try and get a first down here. Which somehow I got through. Oh my god, somehow I'm still getting through. Breaking tackles left right. They slammed me on my head, which is unfortunate. Ragsdale has 212 yards on the ground. They're falling apart. Oh, we could have taken a knee. They were up 24-7 in the first quarter, and we just went on a terror and beat them 42-24. Just went absolutely wild on them. Yeah, Ragsdale player of the game. 216 yards, two touchdowns. They get some catches, too. And uh, we will not be fired because we met our five-win goal. Now maybe from here, we can try and go for bowl eligibility. I think we're out of the conference championship consideration, but I'm not 100% sure. So final status of the day, Morris 21-35, 322 yards, two touchdowns, four picks, which I believe were all in that first quarter. Ragsdale at 216 yards on the ground with two touchdowns. Evans, three for 26 and a touchdown. Morris, two for six and a touchdown. Sides, five for 90. Evans at four for 32. Conright, four for 73 and a touchdown. Cow tie, 355 and a touchdown. Ward, 253. The other tight end, two for eight. And Ragsdale, one for 11. Lee with seven pancakes. Dixon, six. Guillory, five. So that swap seems you're doing well because no sacks today. By Lea Anderson, Wazlowski leading the team eight tackles apiece. Tashada was seven. Starling, Dawkins, Young, six apiece. Brown, Smith, Nelson, Brown, five apiece. Yeah, it's going to be like that. Four TFLs for Vilea with a sack, two for Brown, Dawkins with two, Smith with two and a sack and a half. The other one half shared with Brown. One for Tashada, one for Nelson with a sack, and Wazlowski one and Callaway one. Wazowski also two pass deflections. Allen, Tashada, Young, and Brown with one apiece. But that will wrap this one up. Uh, the only thing, other thing I was thinking, there's still, I am recording this, it is still worldwide release day. Uh, we still cannot edit the rosters in here. Because I've been thinking about the Deshaun Gaddy Award and, you know, the 99 overall Heisman winner that we do. I haven't bothered telling it to you guys who are new around here because I don't know if I can. But the Deshaun Gaddy Award, named after the greatest player in North Texas history, my first favorite player, uh, basically I would bump up their training results at the end of the season if I feel like they had an exceptional season and needed like further award for it. Except training results don't work that way, and I can't edit players. And also with a Heisman winner, if you're an underclassman and you win the Heisman, I would make you a 99 across the board. We can't edit players. So I think those might just be a thing of the past at this rate. Maybe they'll open up the editing rosters later, but I'm not even concerned. If it was, Ragsdale's the team MVP this year by far. It's Ragsdale, it's Sides, and then it's Roderick Brown, but he's a senior, so he wouldn't be able to get the DJ. But regardless of all that, we get the win, we get off the schneid, we're 5-4, and four. we still have a chance at a bowl game because one of our losses was FCS, so we're still going to have a chance at hitting six wins on the season. But three more games left in a regular season. 
yeah, hopefully we just pull off one win. We can go to a bowl game and probably get smoked by someone. But that'll wrap it up. Guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, I'm Shane. I'm out.